Hey, check it out, guys. It's your boy, DJ Soul Force. Uh, last summer on my channel, guys, I reviewed a, uh, a quadcopter from Seafly called the Optane. Now, the Optane was uh, like a Maverick Pro clone, but Seafly uh, insisted it's not a clone. It was an affordable fold-up brushless motor quad three-axis gimbal. Here we have the Seafly uh, Dream, guys. This is a brand new release from Seafly, and uh, it pretty much looks like a Spark, but they're not calling this a Spark clone. We're going to take a close look at it today, do a little test flight with it here at my field. Uh, it's a nice, pretty sunny day, but that field is soaking wet, guys. It rained. <laughs> In fact, if it rains anymore, I'm going to build me an ark. <laughs> So, let's take a look at the uh, box, guys. You know I hate unboxings. I, I can't stand unboxing videos. This will not be an unboxing. I very rarely comment on the box itself, but this box is a real heavy gauge cardboard, which uh, pretty much acts as a carrying case and a way to transport your dream. Seafly is marketing this bird with the uh, slogan, to travel the world and take your dream with you. <laughs> Here you can see it has uh, collapsible propellers, brushless motors. It's got a two axis gimbal on it and this is a 1080p camera guys. Tucked away in the box is all the accessories you need and everything you need to take it out to the field and fly it. I'm not sure if this is a two cell or three cell battery but uh, I'll put the uh, specs on the screen guys. It's a proprietary battery has an off and on switch on the back here. Seafly is promising 15 minutes of flight with this thing. Uh, they're also promising an 800 meter range on it. Uh, 500 meters for the Wi-Fi. And yes guys, it is a 5G Wi-Fi system for the FPV. This is the same controller that came with the uh, Optane. We're not going to spend a lot of time talking about it. Let's take it out and fly it, guys. Real quick, one more thing. Uh, the Seafly does uh, record on board. The SD card goes under this little trap door here in the back, which holds on pretty tight. You can see there's a micro USB connector and a SD card slot. We should take some pretty nice video, whether the... Uh, <coughs> the app holds up or not. <laughs> Cute little bird. Uh, this one also comes in uh, five different colors I've seen listed, guys. Of course, it comes with a battery charger, USB cable, and one set of spare props. Not, uh, not four spare props. It comes with two spare props. Nice box, though. I mean, uh, actually, the... <laughs> The top half of this lid weighs more than the quad itself, so that's pretty cool, guys. The box is a great way to transport it as well. So let's go ahead and get it set up and ready to fly. Uh, I'm going to use the app to view my FPV. I'm going to do a screen recording on my phone. Uh, I'm also going to get my tablet out and see if uh, we can record on two different devices at the same time. I found uh, with the new Bugs products that's using the uh, 5G Wi-Fi, you, you could only connect them to one device at a time. If I have it connected to my phone, it won't connect to my tablet. So we'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, with the uh, Dream, the first thing you want to do is turn on the remote controller. Uh, the remote controller has a Wi-Fi hotspot in it as well. So. Uh, you can fly this drone with the remote controller or you can fly it simply uh, with your smart device. You may find that uh, your phone it will pick up or your mobile device will pick up two Wi-Fi signals. If you're using the controller, then you want to connect to an app called the Seafly controller <laughs> that pops right up it says Seafly controller if the controller is not on it will say Seafly drone 
and that means you uh, you're controlling the drone with your mobile device uh, like a DJI product you press uh, you give it a short press and then a long press and hold for about two or three seconds and the bird will initialize you can see the gimbal is leveling itself out so make sure you have your quad on a nice level surface open up the Seafly app and the uh, the dream popped right up now here I'm gonna uh, attempt to connect it to two devices at the same time here you can see on my tablet uh, it's showing the Seafly drone or the Seafly controller we wanna connect to the Seafly controller well, all right there we have our FPV uh, the tilt angle is adjustable from the controller guys and this is supposed to be a 1080p camera I'm gonna go ahead and press record little record icon turn red there guys the telemetry is the bottom line on this screen here guys and those numbers are very 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 small the telemetry is the bottom line on this screen here guys and those numbers are very 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 small when you first power it up all your toggle switches need to be in the up position okay automatic takeoff has to be done from the uh, from the idle position wow nice picture wow nice picture but we are recording and this is our initial first test flight okay we're we're in uh, just the altitude hold mode right now guys it has a optical flow sensor as well I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to the GPS mode <laughs> and she started drifting a little bit maybe the uh, optical flow doesn't work with the GPS smooth pretty quiet too She's slow. She's moving around like a camera bird. Uh, we'll be keeping our eye on that FPV signal. This is 5G Wi-Fi, guys. First of all, I'm just going to keep it in close right now. Get a feel for it. I won't be able to compare this to a Spark, guys. Uh, like I said before, I don't have a Spark. And more than likely, I'm not going to be able to test all of its features today. This bird has uh, the usual suspects. The uh, follow me has waypoints, point of interest, and uh, all kind of stuff inside the app here, guys. Uh, until I get a little bit more familiar with the bird, I won't be trying those features today. I'm going to go back to that altitude hold mode and see if we get any more speed out of it no not likely <laughs> but it's not bad uh, this is more or less your standard selfie bird with GPS with optical flow 2-axis gimbal 1080p camera Take it down the field a little bit. Let me step back here into the shade. We're more than halfway down the field. I'm going to switch it to the GPS mode to <laughs> make sure I don't lose this thing down there. She's hovering. Let's give it some altitude. And let's make sure we're still connected to the app as we do a 360 pan here. Nice looking picture on the uh, and let's make sure we're still connected to the app as we do a 360 pan here nice looking picture on the uh, camera on the uh, phone and that little white sign there guys is 80 meters you can see that in the picture so we made the 80 meter mark 
Now here's something I noticed. Uh, when y'all ain't too fast, the uh, the tilt angle on the on the gimbal or the roll angle tilts a little bit, but she did straighten herself out. So let's go ahead and push it forward. Point the gimbal down a little bit. I still have a pretty nice connection. She's 96 meters out. Holding a position. There's a little wind blowing out there. She's shuffling around a little bit. Let's point that gimbal up. Gorgeous picture though, guys. Gorgeous. For this to be Wi-Fi. They about to give MGX a little run for their money. Okay, I got to raise the bird up a little bit so I can see it. Looks like we're almost at the end of the field. I got 184 meters. It's still a rock solid connection. The telemetry data is updating kind of slow. But my FPV is solid, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and swing it around a little bit. Do a little fly out over the lake. Uh, the bird's so little, I could barely see it back there. So I am flying FPV. The telemetry data is updating kind of slow, but my FPV is solid, guys. The bird's so little, I could barely see it back there. So I am flying FPV while looking at my phone and that is gorgeous she's putting along over the pond I'm gonna come back over the grass guys there's something about these little bitty birds that bothers me guys that I like my big birds well cuz I'm older and I can't see that well so I need a big footprint in the sky and there she is nice nice she's holding her position we do have a little breeze blowing uh, I would say about six or seven miles per hour I didn't set a timer we'll have to use the video to test the flight time uh, sea fly is promising about 15 minutes got a little bit of your typical Wi-Fi lag But I am still connected. She's putting along over the pond. I'm going to come back over the grass, guys. I'm going to go ahead and push it back out toward the end of the field and test the uh, return to home. Okay, let's hit return to home. Oh my god look like she's landing press up on the throttle stick to hopefully cancel that my app crashed my app crashed I'm bringing her in manually guys Maybe it was a short press for return home. Or maybe I'm in LVC already. I'm not sure, but I pressed return to home and the bird started landing. And she is still trying to land. Here on my phone, uh, the sea fly isn't responding. Do you want to close it? Yes, go ahead and close it. Let's see what we got on the uh, tablet. Look like we recorded that whole <laughs> adventure. I wouldn't really call that a crash, guys. But uh, apparently, I got disconnected from the app. Or uh, return the home button. 
You know what, guys? Th that was totally my fault. Uh, this is an automatic takeoff and automatic land button. Return to home is this toggle switch right here. So uh, my apologies, guys. Uh, like I said, this is the uh, first initial test flight. Our video is still recording. Press and hold that button. Do an automatic takeoff. Take it back down there again. I apologize. That was totally my fault. <laughs> I did read the instructions. However, that was a couple of days ago, guys. Uh, we've been getting rain in this area every day. I rushed out to the field with this one this morning, guys, so I could get this review in in between the thunderstorms. Okay, now my transmitter is vibrating. I'm going to go ahead and activate return to home. Wow, she turned around. She's facing us. My transmitter is vibrating. I'm going to go ahead and activate return to home. Wow, she turned around. She's facing us. And this is a, a small gap between the building in the landing pad okay the sea fly turned around again to position herself look like she might hit the roof of the building so let me push it out <laughs> a few inches that's pretty damn close to hitting the building wow she made adjustments on the way down <laughs> Now apparently the bird <laughs> realized it was in tall grass. It kept bouncing around trying to find a, a, a safe spot to land. Pretty cool. This grass is wet. My lens got water on it. <laughs> My transmitter was vibrating. Current power. Okay, I'm getting a short message here on the screen. Oh, okay, here we go. I have a red number 10 next to my battery indicator we're down to 10 percent battery guys not sure if we got uh, the entire 15 minutes of flight out of that let me go ahead and stop that video that thing just took a picture <laughs> okay let's take another picture before uh, we run out of power here guys thank you <laughs> Again, I apologize for that uh, attempting to land in the middle of the field. I pressed the wrong button. I took this to mean uh, home. <laughs> it's got an H with a circle on it, but that's your auto takeoff button, the auto land button, and it did exactly what I asked it to do. I pressed that button, and the bird uh, attempted to win to auto land. This is your camera video button. Uh, this button is your calibration button. You flick it several times until the lights flash. It goes into the calibration mode. And this upper right hand button is a dummy button. And of course, this is your return to home button, guys. So, so far, not too bad. I like it. Uh, it flies really well. Uh, it's pretty smooth. And most of all, what I like about it is the... Uh, the Wi-Fi FPV took me to the end of the field and back. So, you get a thumbs up so far, Seafly. <laughs> We're going to be doing more tests on this one later, guys. So, stay tuned. Keep subscribing. And thanks for watching this video. It's your boy, DJ Soul Force. Pow! I'm out of here.